Yeah, right there, man. Come here, plug it out. Is that a silver ring? Yeah, yeah. It's a silver ring. It's a seated. It is a seated quarter, and I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just unbelievable. Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you got to kiss her. She's beautiful. What is it? Give me a hug. <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Good morning, everybody. Today is April 8th, 2024. Today, the sun is supposed to be in eclipse, but here in our part of East Texas, it looks pretty cloudy. I doubt we're gonna be able to see the eclipse. So hopefully I'll get some footage of that later on in the video, but uh, maybe these clouds will burn off and we can, we can see it together. But anyway, I am sore and I'm tired. I really don't wanna go detecting today. And as soon as I sit at my desk, just moaning about my aches and pains, Hunter, text of being said don't be negative you know let's go and so I'm loaded up and I'm headed to meet him we're headed back to where we were on our last video back to the historical town I'm just going to do some door knocking today at some of those historical beautiful homes and see if we can't score one or two or a vacant lot or two and hopefully that'll produce and we'll find something uh here uh and maybe we can uh, find a really good treasure along the way and so uh I'm headed up to meet him, and uh, so I've got about a oh about an hour drive ahead of me. So I'll see you guys out in the yard. Oh, yeah. Digging duck. We uh, scored our first house here. I'm gonna go down here and let you guys see it. It's a house I've actually detected a long time ago, but with the AT Pro. We got the manicores on here now, so no telling what we might find. But it's an 1850s home. Check this out. Colonial style. Got a huge front yard, huge side yard, huge backyard. So this is our first home for the day. And uh, we'll hit this one, we'll hit some more, and maybe the sun, the uh, clouds are breaking, the sun will come out, and we'll get us a little eclipse in the, in the process. All right, man, make the prediction, Hunter. What are we gonna get? You were on on the first time, you are off last time. We didn't get any seated. Or shield nickels. So, what are we going to get today? Uh, I'm hoping something seated or some rings or something. Since you said that you hunted it with the equinox, I'm hoping we can find some good silver on it. Seated, some rings. Uh, I'll just be set. I'll be happy for anything. That's it. That's anything. What I'm so, let's get the swing and see what we can get. All right. Here's what I'm hunting with the mana core today. And I'll put the uh, settings out to the right. Only thing I'm going to change is my stabilizer. I'm going to put it down to three. 
and uh, I'm gonna get it and let's go. Whew, been out here about 45 minutes and just digging trash and got uh, no good signals. Um, but I got one here. It was jumping up like a 70 down to a 60, and then it went down to an 07. It's just all over the place, and I just popped it up, and it looks like maybe the top half of a, a military button. So let's look at it together. There it is right there. It'll look like a button. So uh, let's clean this up, and let's see what it's going to be. Well, there it is, guys. Best I can clean it up. Definitely it's a button, two piece. Top piece I've got, <clears throat> the bottom shank is gone. But I don't know if that's two cannons down there. Can y'all tell what that is? Hopefully by the time I make this video, I've already got it identified. But yeah, that's a nice little button. Can't tell what it is though. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just kind of too toasted. All right, I think that's the way it goes right there. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging. See if there's another part of that uh, part of this button in here. All right, just about uh, maybe 15 feet away from that uh, other button, I was getting a solid 24. I'm thinking I'm digging the nickel up, but this big chunk of iron comes up. But it looks like there's a button attached to the top of it. Check this out. Right there. You can see all that iron, but if you look right there, looks like a ridge right there, doesn't it? If I can get this thing in focus. And so it could be something. So let's see if we can't uh, clean this up. This could be an iron back button. And this is all iron back here. See if we can't. Uh, Get a little bit of a shot of that and see what this is. Well, it definitely has some type of design on it. <clears throat> I can't quite tell what it is. I'll put it down here. And we'll put a flashlight on it. Can't really tell. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to wait till we get back and... Do a little bit better cleanup. So let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging. Well, we moved on back here in the backyard and there's uh, three big dog pens. I'm in one dog pen that we really never hunted because it was so grown up before. And uh, getting a 68 to a 70. Didn't know what it was, but I uh, see something big and green. Let's check it out together. All right. There it is. Oh, it's going to have some decorations on it. Oh, check that out. It's going to be an old bell. Oh, yeah, pretty. Look at all those decorations. Let's clean this up. Let's get a better shot at it. Well, there it is. Check that out. Got a nice engraved design on it. Still has the attachment on top. The dinger's gone. But this green, this is old. This is old. I like them. I like those relics. And targets are few and far between, but like I said, this has been hit many times. But this dog pen that I'm in right now is, uh, you can see it's all fenced in. Had a lot of trees in it, a lot of overgrown vines and stuff, so we never could get in here. So there might be a corner to in here too. So, all right, let's keep swinging. I just dug that bell up right there. As I just said, I'm not surprised if we don't find a coin here. Well, just three feet over, I got a 64-65 good solid signal and just popped it up and looks like an Indian. There she is right there. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like maybe an Indian. Let's clean it up. Let's see what it's going to be. Well, not going to be an Indian. It's just going to be a... A Lincoln, but I can't tell on the date. Maybe y'all can. I can't tell. All right, let's keep swinging. There's got to be an Indian in here somewhere. Hunter came over. He wants to reveal this together. What what it ring up as? 23 to 25. So it's definitely a nickel. What kind of nickel is it? 
I don't know. You got a brush? I'll buy your toothbrush. Let's see what we got here. He called it a shield nickel, but uh, earlier. Boy, that thing is toasted. Shield nickels are a little bit thinner. I don't even do that. Try the other side. <laughs> it's gonna be a Jefferson. Yes, it is. Just a plain oh old Jefferson. God. Oh man. All right, first coin of the day though. All right, let's keep swinging in here. Let's go try somewhere else. Well, we finished this house. The eclipse is going on right now. You can't tell on the phone, but it's almost three quarters of the way over. And uh, I don't know if you can. You can't tell in the phone, but uh, we're gonna take a little break and see if we can't wait for it to get to totality here in a minute. And we'll show it to you. Well, we are in the eclipse where we at. We're not in totality. We're just right on the edge in Texas. But you can tell if you look down there, you see the street lights are on. On the camera, it looks very bright, but it's actually pretty dark. You can see the street lights have come on. And it's kind of cloudy. Uh, so it's not the full effect of the sun, but we're at like 98 point five percent so there's just a little sliver left of light coming through and uh totality for us would be about to 20 miles north of here uh maybe not even that far but anyway we're just kind of hanging around before we go to the next house and just checking out what this looks like it's starting to brighten up i think now because street lights are going off so we'll see you guys at the next location all right Hunter scored his first home for the day 1859 home it's actually right across the street from where we were just at. And so uh, you never can tell. I actually asked permission on this house many, many years ago, and they told me no. Hunter goes up today, and they say yes. He says as long as he takes his shirt off. She said yes. So, uh, nah, he wouldn't do such a thing. So let's, let's get in here and let's start swinging and see if we can find anything here. I'm over here on the side of the house digging digging a 99 digging a it's digging a 99 a wheat penny yeah they're ringing up really weird and uh first i dug this out dug that out there's more of those in the hole that's why it's jumping all around what is that when i just uncovered it you sorry sucker ah is that barber yep that is barber yeah man it was deep too Oh gosh, I bet it was eight, ten, inch, eight, ten inches deep. 04, 1904. 1904. So, uh. Still early in this house, though, isn't it? I mean. Yeah, I, I think it actually said 1852 on the 1852? Hey, so I'll that, take that. Is that ringing on a 90 as well? That was ringing up a 99, jumping all around in the 90s. I dug a penny out. But it was a tight si signal? No, it was real jumpy. Uh, right underneath that plug was a 75 penny I dug out, and that's so I got that signal out of the way. Then listen to this one. Then this was jumping around, but I'm picking up that nail. You swung back over the hole. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you can tell. Look how deep, deep that was down in there. That's where the barber was sitting. Yeah, wow. she's sitting down deep. Give you an that's idea how deep we're talking about. There we go, right there. Yeah. So I've got. About 11 inches. Four inches, 12, yeah, about a foot. About a foot deep, man. Barely could hear it. It's just, I'm, I'm thinking I was hearing the nail first. And I just kept digging nails out and just keep going down there. And, and I'm about to be happy for you or Oh, yeah. Jealous. You're, you're happy <laughs> for me, man. You're right. happy for me. All right, let's get a pick and keep on rolling. Got some bling. Hunter's saying he's got some bling over here. What we got, man? Man, I don't know. Oh, cool. That's silver, isn't it? Well, it came, it was ringing up. Uh, with, nickel? It's got the iron back or whatever, but it was ringing up like a nickel. I'm, I was fixing to do a Google lens search. Let me see it when you get into it. It's a button. 
Yeah. Check it out. It's got writing on it. A lion. Yeah. Let's get in here and maybe see a little bit better. I found a... That's probably bringing up silver. It's just got that iron back on you and it's making your numbers jump around. Was it, was it saying it is? A civilian fashion blazer button from like 1950s. 1950s blazer button. Oh, man. Well. Hey, it's something. Yes, sir. I like it. Let's keep digging. There's got to be something else out here. Let's get silver this time. I found, I think it's a good yard. I've already found three Wheaties in this little Oh, area. wow. If we found Wheaties, we're going to find silver. Three Wheaties right in this little area. All right, let's keep swinging. Uh, bringing up uh, 88 to 94. All right, we're going to live dig this one. Got a good high tone here. Let's see what we can get. I'm calling a silver quarter. Now, hunting, uh, digging docks being a little negative. I'm being the one being positive today. So let's see. Any silver edges anywhere so far? Oh, come on. I hope it's a half dollar. Better not be a seated half dollar, though. Let's see where it's at. Is it out of the hole? It's in the sidewall then. Reset my. Huh. Maybe deeper. Nah, it's deeper. Still getting it? Mm-hmm. Deeper? Deeper and maybe maybe just off down. Yeah, off the sidewall. That's gonna be silver something. It's gonna be silver something. I love the soil. It's loud. Over on that side, right in there. Got yours? It's right there. I saw it. Right there. <laughs> What's that going to be? Is it, what is that? Is that an Indian? That's uh, weird, that thing ringing up that high. That's not a wheat penny. It can't be a wheat penny. Surely there's got to be something Maybe. else in the hole. Doggone weedy that high? Wow. There may be something else in there. We'll come back to you guys if it's uh no, we'll just keep on. It's out of the hole. Uh, there's a right there. Yeah. Can't believe weedies are ringing, ringing up that high. Oh well, that's what we get for live digging. Let's yeah, keep going. Oh man, Hunter called me over, said he's on the board with some silver. Finally. So what you got? Lady oh, Lady Liberty there. You got you a Merc dime. What's the year on it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call about a 40-something. We'll see what it says. 41. 41. Hey, we'll take it. All right, there's one apiece. Let's keep going. There's got to be more out here. Hey, congratulations. Ooh, signals are out here, but you got to dig them. It's hot. I ain't used to this hot stuff. I just got a good uh, 89, 90 signal. Popped it up. Looks like a silver ring. Let's go check it out. Yeah, right there, man. Go ahead and pluck it out. Is that a silver ring? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a silver ring. There we go. What does it say on it, love? Uh, Aram. I don't know. Wait what it says to be honest 925 it says charo ch 
C H A R A R O Chiraro. Yeah, definitely gonna be silver. Silver. I bet the thing nine two five. I bet she was screaming at you. Yeah, she jumped up loud. She was jumping all around, but yeah, uh, I thought it was gonna be a penny at first or a dime. Kind of turned right. on and it popped and it come back. And... Yeah, well, I popped it out. I could see it. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on going. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us today. As you can look behind me, we got some major rain coming in here. So it may be a little windy on this wrap up that we're doing. Uh, we're going to try to beat the rain before it gets here. So uh, let me just spin you around. Let me show you what we got. The rain's already coming. All right, there is our trash for the day. And a bunch of typical stuff you dig out of old houses like that. These are going to be my finds. I got one dime, one nickel, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen pennies. I think this is going to end up being an overall button, and I'm not sure on this button yet what that is. I got that flowery, nice bell. I got a buckle. Don't know what kind of buckle that is. I got two Wheaties. I did get a personalized silver ring. It says Chiraro. Chiraro. Anum or Anum Chararo, maybe how you say it. That's a nice 925 ring, and I got a 190. What was that? Uh, barber? 1904. 1904 Barber. So there are my finds. Here's Digging Doc's finds. He ended up with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen pennies. Got him a quarter. Got him three nickels. Got him a. Is that a penny? A couple of dimes. A couple right of there. dimes. He got a shotgun head stamp, a flattened penny there. He got a nice blazer button, not silver though. Uh, he's got a 1941 Merc, a couple of wheat pennies, and a uh, wa um, water in hose. This, in this, uh, water hose water no uh, brass nozzle. Mm -hmm. So we did two yards right across the street from one another, 1860, 59, 1852 yeah. and 1850 home. But they've been hunted before. That's why a lot of these yards up here have been hunted. So, But we found a few good things. It was worth getting out and finding two silvers, three silvers anyway. But uh, we had a good time. We didn't find our shield nickel, though, did we? No, it's coming. Third That's time's a charm. Next time around. Next time around, we'll get that shield nickel. So, Well, there's all the trash. Here's all the treasure. You can barely see on my tailgate now that it's raining. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come up here in old town, historic homes, and dig out of the ground. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. And God bless. <laughs>